Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about one of the most important algorithm in computer organization and architecture is Booth's algorithm. Booth's algorithm is one of the important algorithm that is used for providing a procedure for multiplying binary integers that are present in signed twos complement representation. The hardware implementation of Booth's algorithm is shown in the following figure. It requires the register configuration. That means some registers are used for implementing the hardware implementation of Booth's algorithm. The registers are BR register, AC register, QR register. What is the purpose of each register is discussed in this hardware implementation. Before going to this hardware implementation, how to multiply two binary integers using Booth's algorithm. Suppose we want to perform minus 9 into minus 13. Here minus 9 is called as multiplicand that can be stored in a register called BR register. Minus 13 is called as multiply that can be stored in QR register. Now here we are using n value is equal to 5. That means both multiplicand and multiply are represented using 5 bits. Now we can go for the hardware implementation. Here first register is called as BR register. This BR register is used for storing the multiplicand. Next one is AC register. This is accumulator register. This register is used for storing the intermediate results whenever we are performing the multiplication operation. The partial products are also stored in the accumulator register. Next register is QR register. This QR register is used for storing the multiply. In the QR register, QN bit always designates the least significant bit of the QR register. That least significant bit of the QR register is denoted by QN. Next one, here QN plus 1 is only 1 bit. This 1 bit is stored in a flip-flop. That flip-flop can store only one bit of information. This QN plus 1 is appended to the QR register to facilitate the double bit inspection of the QR register. What are the two, what are the double bits here? The least significant bit of the QR register is QN that is one bit and QN plus 1 is appended to the QR register. It is one flip-flop. It can store only one bit of information. Now we are double bit inspection is nothing but one bit is QN bit and another bit is QN plus 1. Next one here sequence counter. This can be denoted by SC. This sequence counter SC is initialized with the number of bits in the multiplier. Next one complementer and a parallel adder. Complementer is used for performing the 
tools complement operation once the tools complement operation of both multiplicand and multiply can be taken then we are adding accumulator and br register by using the parallel adder the parallel adder is used for performing the addition operation between the corresponding bits next one now this is the flow chart for boost algorithm now we are performing the multiplication operation so for that purpose we have to use two registers first register is br register in br register we are storing the multiplicand that is minus 9 is stored in the br register in two's complement representation next one another register is qr register it is used for storing the multiply that is minus 13 that can be stored in qr register in two's complement representation next one initially accumulator is initialized with zero and qn plus 1 that is also initialized with zero sequence counter is initialized with number of bits in the multiply now we are observing the double bit inspection of the multiply that is a qn and a qn plus 1 if qn and qn plus 1 values are 1 and 0 now we are performing the subtraction operation so subtraction of subtraction of multiplicand from the accumulator ac after that we have to perform the arithmetic shift right performing arithmetic shift right operation on the accumulator qr and qn plus 1 after performing that decrement the sequence counter sc value suppose if qn and qn plus 1 is equal to 0 1 performing the addition operation the content of br register is added to the partial product exist in accumulator after that we are performing the arithmetic shift right operation on the content of accumulator qr register and qn plus 1 after that decrementing the sequence counter next one if qn and qn plus 1 is equal to either 0 0 or 1 1 only we are performing the arithmetic shift right operation on the elements on the components of accumulator qr register and q sub x n plus 1 after that decrementing the sequence counter okay after decrementing the sequence counter either in this case or in this case or in this case check the sc value if sc value is equal to 0 we have to stop the procedure if sc value is not equal to 0 again these steps are repeated n times okay so this is the flow chart for multiplying binary integers in two's complement representation this can also be called as flow chart for boost algorithm now how we are representing minus 9 and minus 13 in two's complement representation because minus 9 is a negative number to represent the negative number we have to use two's complement representation and also minus 13 is a negative number so that to represent this negative number we have to use the two's complement representation now 
we want to perform minus 9 into minus 13 using Booth's algorithm. Here minus 9 is called as multiplicand and minus 13 is called as multiplied. Multiplicand is stored in BR register. Now BR contains minus 9 and QR register contains the multiply that is minus 13 is stored in QR register. To represent minus 9 we have to use 2's complement representation. So here to find out the 2's complement representation first this given binary number can be represent this given decimal number can be represented in binary form in terms of 5 bits. So 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. This is the binary form of 9. Okay. First, we have to find out the 1's complement of this binary number. First, 0 can be inverted as 1. 1 can be inverted as 0, 0 can be inverted as 1, 0 can be inverted as 1, next 1 can be inverted as 0. We are adding plus 1 at the LSB side. So 0 plus 1, 1, here 1, here 1, here 0, here 1. So this is the 2's complement of minus 9. 2's complement of minus 9 is equal to 1, 0, triple 1. Okay. So, this is the BR value. Then, whenever BR value is equal to 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, what is minus BR value? So, minus BR is nothing but, so minus of minus 9. So, that is equal to only 9. Only 9 means the binary form of 9 in, uh, in binary is, the binary form of 9 is 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay. So, this is the BR value. BR value always contains the 2's complement of given negative number that is minus 9 is 1, 0, triple 1. Whereas minus BR is nothing but minus of minus 9 is nothing but plus 9. Plus 9 can be represented in binary as 0, 1, double 0, 1. Next, here QR is equal to minus 13. That means multiplier is stored in the QR register. This is a negative number. To represent this negative number, we have to use 2's complement. For finding out the 2's complement, first this given number can be represented in binary. So in terms of 5 bits, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. Now we have to find out the 1's complement is equal to 0 can be inverted as 1, 1 can be inverted as 0, 1 can be inverted as 0, 0 can be inverted as 1 and 1 can be inverted as 0. After that plus 1 can be added at the LSB side. After adding plus 1 at the LSB side, 0 plus 1 is 1. So, here 1, 0, 0, 1. So, this is the 2's complement of minus 13. 2's complement of minus 13 is, this is the result. So, now QR register contains minus 13 its value is 10011. Now, what is the value of minus QR? Minus QR is nothing but minus of minus 13 is the 13. 13 
can be represented in binary form in terms of five bits. So that is 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay. So first we have to calculate the multiplier and the multiplicand values whenever they are negative numbers that can be represented in two's complement form. So once we are converting them in two's complement form, then by using this flowchart, we are performing the multiplication operation between these two elements. How to perform the arithmetic shift right operation? Suppose I am taking 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. Perform arithmetic shift right operation on this binary number. So here I am taking 6 bits as it is. Now the last LSB bit can be sended to this place. Next 0 can be sended to this place. 1 can be sended to this place. And this one can be sended to this place. And 0 can be sended to this place. And 1 can be sended to this place. So whenever we are performing right shift operation. So here this bit is vacant. So in this bit. The vacant bit is filled with MSB bit. The vacant bit is filled with MSB bit. That is 1. In the normal right shift operation, here the vacant bit is filled with 0. Whereas in the case of arithmetic shift right operation, whatever the vacant bit is there, whenever we are performing the right shift operation, that vacant bit is filled with the MSB bit. So now, after performing the arithmetic shift right operation, so then what we are getting? 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. In the arithmetic shift right operation, the last LSB bit is terminated. So this is the arithmetic shift right operation of this binary number. So this is the keep in mind because here in this case, we are using the arithmetic shift right operation.